Hi, everybody. Welcome to English Digest. I'm Stephanie. I am Tom, and today we're going to continue with our literature unit. Of、yeah. course, as you know, every month in our literature unit, we have a work of literature that we discuss for three days. The first day we talk about the actual work of literature itself,、yeah. we summarize the plot. On the second day, we talk about the author, and on the third day, we go back to the story and talk about some ideas in the book and why we think you might enjoy reading it.、Mm -hmm. So, of course. Today is day two, the second day of our literature unit. So we're going to be talking about the author of *The Darkest Minds*, the woman by the name of Alexandra Bracken. Okay, and she is a native of Arizona, just Yay, like you. So、me. maybe you know each other. No. Maybe, maybe you went to the same high school no, or something. No, she's much younger than me. <laughs> well, younger, yes, but maybe she went to the same high school as you. Maybe I went to a、town. very good high school. Yeah. Well,、so. if、uh, she's a writer now, then maybe she went to a very good high school as well. You never know. Look at she went to a great college though, College of William and Mary. It's very small, very select. So we're going to talk about her, her background. That's the word we use when we talk about someone's、uh, beginnings, their roots. Where did they come from? What did they study?、Uh, things that inspired her to become an author herself. We're going to mention some of those things that were part of the inspiration for her to begin writing. Right now, guys, we're going to read through today's article. Alexandra Bracken is an American author of young adult fantasy novels. She was born and raised in Arizona, U.S., where she lived until she went to the College of William and Mary in Virginia. While she was a university student, she wrote her first two books. One of these was published as her debut novel, *Brightly Woven*, when Bracken was only 23 years old. It won third place in the 2010 Goodreads Choice Awards for Best Debut Author. After graduating from college, Bracken moved to New York City to work in the children's publishing industry and then in marketing. Six years later, she became a full-time writer and moved back to Arizona. She is best known for the Darkest Minds series, which includes four books, the first of which was published in 2012. In 2015, she adapted the film *Star Wars: Episode IV: A New Hope* into a new novel called *The Princess, the Scoundrel, and the Farm Boy*. In 2016, her novel *Passenger* was released, with the next book in the series *Wayfarer* following in 2017. Bracken says that going to Star Wars toy fairs as a child sparked her imagination and love of reading. She was also heavily influenced by the British authors J.K. Rowling and Roald Dahl, among many others. Their novels inspired Bracken to become an author of children's books. Bracken's novels are available in more than 15 languages, and she is the best-selling The New York Times and USA Today author. The film version of The Darkest Minds will be released in cinemas in August 2018. So don't miss your chance to be a part of the adventure. Let's get started, guys. We're talking about author Alexandra Bracken. She's an American author of young adult fantasy novels. If you talk about a fantasy film or a fantasy novel, that particular book or movie is set in. An impossible or an improbable time. Maybe it's in the future, or maybe things happen that require a little magic, like J.K. Rowling's books. J.K. Rowling wrote all the Harry Potter novels. Those are fantasy novels as well. So fantasy is very popular these days. So if you are an author, you might want to try your hand in that particular genre, fantasy. Fantasy, indeed, but、uh, more specifically for young adults, and so she's written quite a few in this particular series. Now, she was born and raised in Arizona, the United States, where she lived until she went to college, 
or she went to the the college here、mm -hmm. of William and Mary in Virginia. So if you're born someplace, of course, that's where your mother gives birth to you. But then if you stay there and you're with your family and you grow up and stuff like that, you are being raised in that place. So she spent time growing up in Arizona in the United States, which of course is where Phoenix is, and what's the other city? Tucson and Mesa. Flagstaff. That's Mesa. That's where I'm from, Scottsdale. Okay,、yeah. there you go.、Mm -hmm. Indeed, Yuma, Arizona, as well. Uh, Etc. So she lived there, but then when she got to be college age, the age of eighteen or so, she went to the College of William and Mary in Virginia. I've heard of that before. Oh, but, it's a、uh, very elite school. It's hard to get in. You have to have excellent, excellent grades and recommendations. So the College of William and Mary in Virginia. Notice it's not called the University of. That doesn't mean it's less than a university. It's a very, very good school. So sometimes some of these universities. Are actually named college. That's what that word is used in the the name of the school. So, while she was a university student, she wrote her first two books. This girl was not, you know, out getting drunk and going to parties. She was busy writing her first two novels. I like her.、Uh, she was very intent on becoming. A published author. It's hard, though, for a young person to get their first manuscript accepted by a publishing company. But she had a plan. This is what she did. One of these two that she wrote in college was published as her debut novel called *Brightly Woven*, when she was only twenty-three years old. She must、uh, have a lot of talent and luck combined.、Uh, you can be really talented and still have a hard time getting your books published. This word "debut." Some people say "debut." I say "debut" because it's French. It just means the first time you've done something. So this would be her first novel. When I made my stage debut, is the first time I had performed live on stage. So you can have different types of debuts. So this is her novel that she. First, had published when she was just twenty-three, and it was entitled "Brightly Woven." And again, she was only twenty-three.、Wow. It won third place in the 2010 Goodreads Choice Awards for Best Debut Author. Wow!、Uh, if you're,、uh, you know, looking for some suggestions on what to read, or、mm -hmm. you want to re read some reviews on books and stuff like that,、uh, Goodreads is a good place to、I、go、so, yeah. on the internet. Of course, you can find some recommendations, or you can even submit your Own reviews there、uh -huh. yourself, so they give out awards, I guess, for books. And、uh, back in 2010, already eight years ago, she got an award for the best debut author. Well, she wasn't number one; she was third place there. But that's still pretty darn good. <laughs>、yeah. Lots of people want to have novels published; they want to be a writer. Now, moving on now to the next paragraph here. It says, after graduating from college, you could also say after graduating from university. Bracken moved to New York City, like a lot of young, ambitious people do. They move to the Big Apple to further their career. So here she moved there to work in the children's publishing industry, which、uh, is a certain industry that involves publishing books for children, maybe picture books for real small children or young adult novels for older children. But in any case, I guess the publishing industry for young people. Is kind of based in New York City. There,、uh, industry, of course, can refer to a lot of different things, but it basically involves a certain sector of the economy.、Uh, you could say the, you know, the computer industry, the、mm -hmm. publishing industry, the, the car industry, the fashion industry, etc.、Yeah. In this particular case, she worked in the children's publishing industry. And then she probably got a different job, and she worked in marketing, which is trying to promote products so that they'll sell better in the market. I have to say, if you want to get into the publishing world, you you need to move to New York. That's where it all happens, guys. It's difficult to get a, a job in publishing because everybody wants one. When you first start there, you don't make much, but、uh, if you hang on,、uh, you start to do better and better. So good luck if you want to do that. You need to move to New York, though. Six years later, she became a full-time writer, meaning she didn't have a job and then come home at, in the evening and write her books. She was actually just writing full-time, and then she moved back to Arizona. 
probably to be with family. I would assume she is best known for the Darkest Minds series. It's a series of books, which means it's not just one book, but it comes in a group of books. We've got lots of really popular series. Harry Potter is a popular series. I think there were seven books. If I if yeah, I'm not I was going to ask you. I've yeah, never I, read. I, that, I read but... them all. I loved them. Yeah, I I was one of those people that stood in line to get the last Harry Potter book. Yeah, because it was exciting. So that's what she's best known for. When people hear of the Darkest Minds, they think, "Oh, yeah, that's that Alexandra Bracken." So there can be different types of series. There can be a series of numbers, maybe a series of bills. You know, dollar bills. Money have different numbers on them. You can have,、uh, you know, the World Series, which has two teams. You know, they're at the end trying to become the world champion. Major League World Series, NLB World Series, World Series champions. We also also say. Well, it's the last World Series was. The Dodgers and the Astros, right?、Uh-huh. Okay, at least I know that. But in any case, yes. yes, this is a series of books, and there are four in this series, and they're for young readers. So, hey, if you're interested, you should check it out. You could probably order some online from Amazon.com or something like that. I'm sure they have them. Maybe even an electronic version for your Kindle or for your tablet or whatever.、Mm-hmm. But again, the first one came out in 2012, and then she did something else in 2015. She adapted. Adapted the film Star Wars Episode Four: A New Hope into a new novel called The Princess, the Scoundrel, and the Farm Boy. <laughs> so this is a rather long title, but basically this was the first Star Wars movie in which we were introduced to Luke Skywalker and Princess Leia and Han Solo and Chewbacca and C three PO and R two D two etc. The first movie there, and so you could probably recognize some of these characters here、uh, from that movie. The princess, of course, would be Princess. Leia and、uh, the scoundrel Han Solo and the farm boy Luke Skywalker. So she adapted this movie into a novel. So if you're a big fan of Star Wars, maybe you could read this to see what she did with this. It's an adaptation. If you adapt something, you kind of change its form into something else. It's very similar, but it's in a different format. So she saw the movie and she thought, "Hey, that gives me an idea <laughs> for a novel. I'll、yeah. make it sort of like the movie, but it won't be the same as the movie. It'll be a novel." It's probably pretty interesting, at least if you're a Star Wars fan. Yeah, I think she's really clever, or kind of creative, you could say. Check that out. Now, in 2016, her novel called Passenger was released. Remember, when we release something, it just means it goes onto the market so people can buy it. We release novels, we release、uh, CDs, a movie is released. Not everything is released, so be careful with that. Primarily, it's for books, music, and movies. So, her novel Passenger. Was released in 2016, with the next book in the series Wayfarer following in 2017. Sounds like she ri- likes to write series of books, so a story that is quite long that keeps going on and on with the same characters. That's pretty popular for an author these days. Right now, guys, we're going to take a quick break, listen to our Chinese teacher, and then we'll be back、uh, to continue talking about Alexandra Bracken. 大家好，欢迎收听 English Digest， 我是哈里。今天我们要阅读的文章是文学单元 Unit Twelve 的第二天课程。在今天的文章中，我们会阅读到小说《暗黑之心》作者的生平背景。我们看到第一段的第一句 ：Alexandra Bracken is an American author of young adult fantasy novels。亚历山卓·布拉肯是一名美国青少年奇幻小说作者。名词 fantasy 有奇幻故事、幻想的意思。Fantasy novel 就是指奇幻小说。Have fantasies of something 或是 have fantasies about something 就是指幻想着某事物。例如 ，Leo always has fantasies about winning the lottery。里欧总是幻想着赢得乐透。Fantasy 的动词为 fantasize，f a n t a s i z e。Fantasize about something 或 fantasize 加 that 名词子句，就是指幻想着某事物。When he was a child, Kevin fantasized about becoming the president of Taiwan someday. 凯文小时候幻想有一天变成台湾的总统。我们接着看到第一段的第二句 
She was born and raised in Arizona, U.S., where she lived until she went to the College of William and Mary in Virginia. 她在美国亚利桑那州出生长大，直到她去维吉尼亚州威廉与玛丽学院之前，都住在那里。动词 raise 在本句是养育的意思，相当于片语 bring up。例如 ，I was brought up in the country, so I'm not used to the busy city life. 我在乡下长大，不习惯忙碌的都市生活。Raise 还有举起、募款的意思。例如 ，If you have any questions about today's lesson, please raise your hand to ask. 如果你对于今日的课程有任何问题，请举手发问。The charity holds a benefit concert every year to raise money for the homeless. 这个慈善组织每年举办慈善演唱会，来为无家可归的人募款。我们接着看到第二段的第一句。After graduating from college, Bracken moved to New York City to work in the children's publishing industry and then in marketing. 从大学毕业后，布拉肯搬去纽约，在童书出版业工作，之后转到市场行销领域。名词 industry 有行业、产业、工业的意思。Publishing industry 就是指出版业。Industry 也有勤劳、勤奋的意思。例如 ，My father told me that the two key factors in his successful business are industry and honesty. 我父亲告诉我，他事业成功的两个关键因素就是勤奋和诚实。另外，和 industry 相关的两个形容词就是 industrial, i n d u s t r i a l. 意思是工业的、产业的。另一个是 industrious, i n d u s t r i o u s. 意思是勤劳的、勤奋的。例如 ，The factory was fined for dumping its industrial waste into rivers. 这间工厂因为倾倒工业废弃物到河里而被罚款。Most of my coworkers are serious and industrious. 我的同事大部分都是严肃且勤奋的。我们接着看到第二段的第三句 ：She is best known for the Darkest Minds series, which includes four books. The first of which was published in 2012。她以暗黑之心系列最为闻名。这系列包含四本书，第一本在西元2012年出版。这句使用 the first of which， 而不用 the first of them。这是因为使用 the first of them 的话，会变成前后两个完整句子，只用逗号连接，而没有任何连接词，因此将 them 改成 which。关系代名词 which 有代名词的功能，可代替前面提到的 four books。同时 ，which 也有连接词的功能，可连接两个完整句子。如果要用 the first of them 的话，则要加上一个连接词，变成 and the first of them. We're going to take a quick break. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Welcome back, guys. We're talking about the background of author Alexandra Bracken. She's the author of *The Darkest Minds*. We talked about the plot in day one, and now we're talking about her background, where she came from, what inspired her to begin writing novels, who was her inspiration. A lot of people have、uh, role models or people they look up to, and they want to. You know, have a career similar to someone else. She was born and raised in Arizona, and went to the College of William and Mary, and then actually wrote her first two books while she was still a student. I don't know how she had time because I was busy studying all the time for tests. She must have been very focused then, though, because、yeah. I used to write diaries from that、uh, period of history when I was in college,、uh -huh. and all my writing back there pretty much sucked. I'll say that、uh, right <laughs> off the hand. So she must have been a very talented. Talented writer、mm. there because one of those books that she wrote while in university was actually published. That was her debut novel, Brightly Woven, and then she went on to write the Darkest Minds series. 
Which、uh, contains four editions there, so you've got your reading cut out for you <laughs> if you want to start reading、mm-hmm. that. But as I said before, it's young adult fantasy, so it should be fairly easy、uh, for your level here. It might be enjoyable as well, and so those have been published, and you can buy them on online bookstores or probably even、uh, brick and mortar bookstores、oh. in good old Taiwan. Here,、uh, they're probably that popular. Popular. We also talked about the fact that after she graduated from college, she went to New York to work in the children's publishing industry. She later worked in marketing, but I guess she had had enough of the big city, and later on, she moved back to good old Arizona and the sunshine there. She probably got sick of the snow and cold. Well, it's also cheaper to live in Arizona than New York City if you're writing full time. And it's only about <laughs> what a three-hour drive down to Nogales. You can go down across the border there and pick up some. You know, some much. No one wants to go, like go to Nicholas, but that's okay.、Um, that's my opinion. Anyway,、mm. she was then living in Arizona and continuing to write. She's best known for the Darkest Mind series,、uh, which includes four different books. And in 2015, she did something interesting. She adapted or changed the form of the film Star Wars Episode Four: A New Hope into a new novel. And she had a cute title for that: The Princess, the Scoundrel, someone who's naughty is a scoundrel, and the farm boy. And then in 2016, we talked about her novel Passenger being released, with the next book in the series Wayfarer. Following in 2017, moving on to、uh, the third paragraph, it says Bracken says that going to Star Wars toy fairs as a child sparked her imagination and the love of reading. Something sparks it just you know kind of gives you a little start, kind of gets your imagination moving and running. Her imagination is just what she creates in her own brain. She forms new ideas, images, concepts. Things that are really creative. We often say children have a great imagination. A lot of kids will talk to their imaginary friends. You know, there's no one there, but they're talking to them as if there was someone there standing by them. They have great imaginations. She also going to these toy fairs really got her into、uh, loving to read. She loved to read, and most authors love to read. Okay, so I guess she's、uh, pointing this out as an early inspiration when she went to those toy fairs. It sparked her imagination. She started to read books as a result of that. And of course, if you start reading a lot, you might eventually entertain the idea of becoming a writer yourself. Now, she was also heavily influenced by the British authors J.K. Rowling and Roald Dahl, among many others. Of course, we do know J.K. Rowling. Rowling is the author of the Harry Potter books. As you said, there are seven books in that series. And then Roald Dahl, maybe you've heard of him before. I think he wrote the Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, and、uh, that one about the giant peach or something. Yeah, I'm、uh, just basing this J- off my、James、mind. James and the giant peach. James and the giant、uh, yeah, peach. That's、like、right. That. that was made into a movie as well. So she was influenced by those British authors, and their novels inspired Bracken to become an author of children's books. So she read those books. She thought, "Hey, children's literature has a market. I like that, and I like kids too. So what the heck?" I will write novels for young readers. She was inspired to become an author of children's books, and here we've got the word "inspire."、Uh, to be inspired by someone means they give you this sort of inspiration. They give you this sort of energy.、Uh, you see something, you ideas, go, yeah. yeah. You see it, and you go, "Wow, I'd really like to do that too." I'm really inspired. I, I'm really excited about that. I'd like to produce something like that myself. Maybe you were inspired by paintings that you saw in a museum. When you were a kid, oh, I'm inspired by Picasso paintings. I want to be a painter when I grow up. Yeah, or maybe you're inspired by music. Music inspires me. Now, moving on to the final paragraph, Bracken's novels are available in more than 15 languages. That's a lot of languages, and she is a best-selling author.、Uh, not only of, in the New York Times, they have a bestsellers list. Have you seen that before? And they also have best-selling、uh, authors lists in the USA Today newspaper. That's what USA Today is. I don't ever see USA Today in Taiwan, but、no. sometimes if you stay at a hotel, they'll give you a free copy, or on the airplane, they'll give you a free copy of USA Today. It's the first colored newspaper. 
paper we ever had.、Uh, maybe you've seen that. Well, the film version of this novel we've been talking about, The Darkest Minds, is going to be released in cinemas. Remember, if it's released, it's、uh, out in the public for the first time. You can go see it, and that's going to happen in August. 2018. That's right now. So you need to check your newspaper to see when it's playing in your theaters.、Uh, exactly. So who knows? Maybe that movie has already been released here in Taiwan. It's supposed to come out in August 2018, and that's what it is right now. In fact, it's getting toward the end of August、yeah. right now, as st- school starts up here very soon. Maybe that could be one of your、uh, assignments in your English class or something、oh, yeah. like that. Who knows? But indeed, you could read that book. Or if you don't want to spend the time reading the book and looking up words in the dictionary and stuff like that, you might just want to go check out the movie because we're talking about the film version of *The Darkest Minds*. It's going to be in theaters this month, so don't miss your chance to be a part. Of the adventure, of course, an adventure, of course, is a very, very exciting trip that you might go on. It's very unusual. Maybe you're on a sailing ship or something like that, or you're climbing mountains, or you're fighting large gorillas in the、Maybe、jungle and stuff、yeah. like that. Going、uh, to ma- the moon. Oh yeah. yeah, that's an adventure as well. <laughs> Although I would not say、mm. that、uh, going down to Kending and staying in a hotel, <laughs> hanging out at the beach. And、uh, walking along the main street there, I don't think that counts as an adventure. There's got to be lots of action and stuff like that, <laughs> and it's got to be life-threatening as well. Well, no, it doesn't have to be dangerous, but it should be exciting at least. Maybe you get a chance to go to Europe for a month with your friends. That's probably an adventure. So we suggest you、uh, check out movie listings in theaters near you to see if you can. Get a look at the darkest minds. I bet it's pretty good. Right now, guys, we're going to listen one more time to our Chinese teacher. 我们接着看到第三段的第一句有一个名词 imagination， 想象力的意思。Spark one's imagination 就是指激发某人的想象力。另外 ，beyond one's imagination 就是指超乎某人的想象。例如， 105年大学只考的中译英的第二题，就是他们在人类中快速散播疾病造成的死亡远超乎我们所能想象。这题的他们就是指蚊子 （mosquitoes，m o s q u i t o e s）。所以这句可以翻译成 ：They spread diseases quickly among humans, and the number of deaths they cause is beyond our imagination. 以上就是今天的课程，谢谢大家收听。That's it, guys. That's it for the background of our author Alexandra Bracken. We're gonna use our final day, as we always do, to talk about the themes, the ideas, the messages that the author wanted to communicate in her book and film. It's been made into a film. Remember, the darkest minds. We hope you'll join us for our following program for English Digest. I'm Stephanie, and I'm Tom. Goodbye. Bye.